Hi, today I'm gonna teach how to create a multi pages website or application using Streamlit. So, we are going to create this wandering website. Here, you can see that I had created a multi page website. I'm clicking on different options, our website is loading different, different pages. Let's learn how to create these pages. So, for creating a multi page website, you must create different different files for each page so first of all let me do that after creating the separate file for each of the page we have to create a file main.py make sure to name it as main.py only and this file or this page will be responsible for running our application now the first thing that we have to do is import streamlit as st uh, from streamlit underscore option menu import option menu Uh, this feature is not uh, by default in streamlit so we have to install a package for option menu this option menu is going to help us creating these options here in the sidebar and, and if you don't have streamlit installed or streamlit option menu installed then just go to the terminal and write pip install streamlit and after that pip install streamlit option menu this will install these packages for you now we also have to import these pages so that we can access them from our main file for doing that just say import and pass the file name here Make sure to enter the correct name as your file name here without this dot .py and after that we have to set the title for our page. We can use this command for setting the page title. You can choose one for yourself and now for creating a multi-page app we have to create a class multi-app this a should be capital after that we have to define some functions or methods here first of all we have to define init method for initialization pass self parameter here and say self dot apps so this is gonna create a list of apps which is empty initially after that we have to create one more function add app pass the parameters cell then title then function sorry after that we have to append this title and function name to our apps list then we have to create one last function which is run inside this run method we will say with st dot sidebar so this is the syntax for creating a sidebar in streamlit you can see the this is a sidebar where our options are listed so first of all we have to create it after that option menu for creating the options so first of all i'm initializing app equal to option menu inside the option menu we have to pass some parameter so this first one is menu title this one is for setting the title for this sidebar which is set to pondering here 
after that we have to create a list of options here so you can name these options which you want to show here like these home account trending your post and about option these are going to show here so make sure to name them correctly there are two parameters one is icons and another one is menu icon this menu icon is for this icon which is in front of menu title and these icons are going to be located in front of each option so it's your choice these are optional you can also search for other icons online and you have to pass the correct name here this style is also optional and here you can see for container i'm setting the padding equal to 5 and background color is going to be black so this container is this, this whole thing then we have styling for icon here you can choose the preferred color and you can change the font size also then the nav link so this one is for navigation like when i am hovering over any option then you can see the color is changing and this one is nav link selected so when i am selecting a particular option then the then the color is changing similarly you have background color text alignment and other options for this one after defining this run method we have to do one more thing like just check if app is equal to equal to home then just run the home app and for running the home we have to pass the page name which is home here and dot app this dot app is going to run the app function inside our home file as you can see here our home is empty but when we are creating the page for home then after doing the import stream as st you would have to write your code for this home page inside this app method only so you can also rename it to anything you like but make sure to pass that method name here like in this case i am creating app so i had passed this home dot app function here this will run the home page similarly for other pages and make sure to pass the correct option name that you set here so there should not be any spelling mismatch otherwise you might get unexpected results after doing this for each option now we have to say run for running this method we are using this dot app method here for each page so you have to make sure that you are creating an app method in every page and now write the syntax for your website page here like let's say i want to just write after creating this app function in each file and saving them now we can try running our app go to the new terminal and just say streamly run main.py okay as you can see it worked our sidebar is created we can see the options we can switch pages as you can see whenever i am switching the page it's writing the text inside the sidebar itself so there might be some syntax mistake here okay so as you can see i accidentally wrote these if conditions inside the sidebar 
so just shift tab and save it now if i rerun the application yeah now you can see this content is going to be written over here so that's all for this part in the upcoming parts you can see how to create a login page or authentication in streamlit so stay tuned and please like subscribe to my channel thanks